Welcome to the deal room. Welcome to the deal room. Spring break edition. Hello, Mr. MTV. You uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this just hit me. Were you the- ever on MTV? <laughs> For Orange Avenue, refrain. Uh, oh my God. We were. This we was were a MTV plan buzz- thing. No, actually, you just pulled now this. when you said that. <laughs> YouTube, hold this. No, I'm just joking. If we go back, production may be able to go back and look. But yes, we were. Yes. What? Yes, we actually. But we weren't on. There were some things that were being worked out in the back about the videos. But um, we were an MTV buzzworthy band. Yes, we were. Ladies from. <laughs> what do they call them? Groupies. Oh, Comment. <laughs> <laughs> below no and don't was, forget to like share subscribe yes as, yes for this guy no 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 oh uh, we're gonna put some footage up right <laughs> but yes it was you, mohawk fohawk that i think i did have a mohawk at tips. the time probably yeah probably Most one of the tips. Tips, tips, yeah it was but it would that was a cool day for us i'm not gonna lie because um i remember when that happened and we were extremely excited about because it. it was you know we were like we grew up on it, it was like whoa we're MTV buzzworthy you know what I mean like we're cool <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> yay you know hashtag but, MTV yeah hashtag yeah I f- forgot about that actually too. nice shirt though dude thank you thank you this was a, fitted and everything Did, yeah, this time it fits me which is nice this is from back in the day I wore this in memory of. Spring break, me going Circuit. out during spring break to the Seabreeze party scene. But like, notice how nothing, I like it. nothing, <laughs> was, nothing was really, well, now it's fitted. But when I could wear it, it was loose. Everything it was, was nothing big was on. fitted. Yeah, everything was big, yeah. <laughs> now it's just fitted because I'm fat. Um, uh, again, Planet Fitness and uh, uh, Goals Gym sponsorships. Ding. <laughs> We're still waiting. But yeah, how to do it. We had to do it up. I even got the high tops on today. Hey. Had to go old school. We had to do it. Looking good, my friend. It was a fun time. During those times. Here, let me get these glasses up a little bit here. Fun times is like, yeah. Those were good times. We were younger. Every, you know, going free out, of. Going out in packs of. 30, 40, now you go back, you go out, it's like one or two, right? Yeah. But back then it's 40. Hey, what's so-and-so 30, doing? Yeah. Hey, we go meet up at this house. Let's go over here. What's oh, up? Yeah. Yeah, now we're, we're in We're bed. getting a keg. Yeah, we're getting a keg before we go out. Yeah, before exactly. We go out. Like, <laughs> Those were good times. Uh, I have a lot of fun memories. Packed. Oh, my God. Suntan lotion. You can smell the suntan lotion because the kids just... Come from the beach. Yes. <laughs> that coconut smell. And yeah. Hawaiian Tropic all in the air. <laughs> Hawaiian Tropic. <yeah. laughs> Rum Mr. flowing. Ron, shout out to Mr. Ron Rice. Thank you for all those years. Yeah. He's a local. Yes. Yeah. Daytona Beach. He has a new company. Yes. Havana Club. Hav- yes. Havana Club. You're right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get the right one on that. But yeah, very good times back then. So, what? Well, Daytona Beach, like we were discussing, this is something that we've been wanting to do, just because of the perception that we dropped on a couple episodes prior. Just but the perception of Daytona Beach. I mean, yeah. we're now in the year twenty twenty two. We're going back to. We still hear it, and we do. Especially- From the eighties, like they remember the eighties, or like. Think of all the people that we know that came from up north and never left. Yeah. Or just became a bartender and never kept bartending. And then they opened their own club or bar. But starting out, like, I remember it, like, it wasn't so bad. Like, one of your friends, I believe, was one of the first headliners, right? Like, Vanilla Ice. Was he one of yeah, the first headliners? Yeah, he was back? like, I remember, like, remember Amanda Loach? Yes. Like, I remember she, like, cut school and went to the band shell. Really? Or whatever, wherever yeah. it was. And to go at the Marriott, like, they put up a stage at the Marriott or the band shell. I, 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 I couldn't go. I didn't even know. Right. But, like, 
it was it was clean and fun back then. But he was the beginning, yeah. As far as I remember, that well, A one A Beachfront Avenue, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole, yeah. You um played with him, right? I did. I have an op- I had an opportunity to uh to play with him one night. We were actually it was uh we were just finishing up a series of shows that we did. And it was actually for a throwback. I believe it was a throwback to like the 90s. This is maybe in 2013, maybe. Oh, wow. 2013. And um, we just got done. So we were opening up for him, Kid and Play. DJ Scribble was on the bill. There was a, nice. And their drummer actually missed his flight. Oh, okay. So as we were... They got to catch our set. You know what I mean? They they enjoyed it. You know, they were there. And um, we were packing up, and then some of the team came over, and they were like, hey, do you, you know, our drummer missed his flight. We got a show tonight. You know what? And they were like, you think, you know, your drummer may be interested in helping out? And if, I mean, not going to lie, I was just, you know, we just got done doing a series of shows, and we just got done playing. We were outside playing. It was hot spring. So, I mean, I was a bucket of water, you know, at the time. And I was just like, when, when do you guys go on? But I I did it. You know what I mean? I did. It was a great experience. Wonderful guy. I mean, the whole crew and his team treated, it was just a great experience. You know? He, he's actually here in town. You said that. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want to try to touch base with him soon. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. He does a lot of flipping, right? Like, he buys and sells real estate. Higher end, I think? Or is it everything? From Yeah, so from what I've seen... On there is he's um I think it's on the DYI network and I think maybe some YouTube stuff that you sent me but I saw a couple episodes where yeah he puts up these beautiful beautiful homes and he gets like creative and artistic and like the different accents and different stuff that he does is just like it's a it's a paradise of a place but it's down south southern Florida area you yeah know, down there and then I guess we moved into what like. Holly Shore, downtown Julie Brown, and Kennedy. Yep. I mean, I remember we went. Now, that I was prepared for, right? So I think it was like Eddie, Nick, and I. We, like, broke out. We're like, we're skipping school, and we're going to go see the show, like the Pauly Shore show with RuPaul and... That's cool. Are, uh, what's it? The McCarthy girl. Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. At the top. Great MC or um, VJ or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, and they did like back to back shows. Wow, that's cool. That's so cool. And you guys it, did it that. It wasn't too bad. I didn't think like it wasn't didn't reflect bad on the town at that time. What I don't know what you heard, but I didn't really know. To, I was young. You know what I mean? It was just spring break and. XYZ artists and bands were in town. The only one I remember, I remember of leaving, I think it was, I think it was in college at the time. I think it was like a freshman in college. And a couple of friends were like, Blink-182, before they blew up is at, like you said, like at the Marriott, or they're going to be playing. Right. And we went, and it was just slam. I, remember, I do remember that show. That was pretty cool. That was before Blink really blew up, you know? And then, like, it seems just like the city kind of just, I don't know what kind of backlash they were getting. Or maybe all these parents up north are like, oh, my God, my kids are going down to see this. Seeing this stuff on the news. And and then it, it's the media again. Yeah. The fake news. Yeah. Even back then. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm sure it was why. I remember, you know, I know the hotels had to, well, actually, let me, they had to do some... Um, changing up of the rooms, right? Because of the balconies, weren't the kids on the balconies? And that's oh, yeah. where it got dangerous while they were drinking and stuff. Well, like that was that. a whole thing for what a decade, right? So that's what I do remember. Would that. Balcony hop. Or oh yeah, they did balcony hop. Girls, yes. And once you have a half a case of beer in you, you're Superman. Yeah, <laughs> you're Superman. <laughs> without the cape, <laughs> no jetpack. <laughs> Yeah. And no trampoline or cushion below, right? <laughs> oh, and then I funny. guess, and then I guess it was just like Eminem and stuff. Like he was too raunchy, which 
I read that they had to like record two sets for him so they could play it on like BET. Really? Because of the language and yeah, like it was that so. suggestions that were being made, and then like I think the mayor Snoop came, which I definitely don't remember that. Me neither. But I read that Snoop came, and then the mayor was also like pleading with him, and he was actually respectful to the mayor and understood where he was coming from right like, you know this is a family i mean you're out in the open there's yeah. kids there's different age groups there's adults you know there's yeah. chaperones and like parents they not all parents are that lenient right yeah like being my, a, my kids are gonna be at concerts i'm gonna be right there with them <laughs> 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 Yeah, Dua Lipa. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, but Daytona Beach, like you said, you know, a lot of people do think of it now. Well, they, you know, it was just this big, big party town. World's most famous beach. Spring Break Central. Party, party, party. And, and it, it, it could also be like the parents... Used to go to Fort Lauderdale, right? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, and then there's <laughs> movies about that stuff. Like, like, isn't there like a like, uh, some kind of comedy co comedic movie about Fort Lauderdale? And there's a lot of nudity in there and beer drinking. It's like a seven late seventies movie. I think I've seen. I've seen. Um, yes. And so they show all that, right, on right. in Fort Lauderdale. And then those parents have kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then they're like, they come over to Daytona and people are dying off the balconies. Like, yeah. That's out of control. It's gonna be a concern. Yeah. So yeah. Daytona started to squash that in the what, the early early 90s i think mtv just broke out they're like we don't want you here they just started slowly but surely each year breaking it down less and less and yeah. less and which is crazy because people spring breakers still do come yeah you know the canadians come down oh i mean it's on right now look at us i mean is they're coming in town series of weeks we have of this yeah you know that that's why we thought it was so fitting to do the spring break edition of this because yeah. They ask, you know, hey, what's Daytona like? What's it? Oh, it's a party town. It's, but it really has started to adapt. Where we still do get it, but I don't think it's as wild. I guess you'd say. Right. As, but although some of those nightclubs and bars, I mean, they really do get packed. Yeah, I mean, they're still around. Yeah, I would definitely say we do see our Razzles are still there. Longest running nightclub, I think, in the world. Brazzles nightclub, Daytona. Mr. Beach. Elias. <laughs> yeah, they've run that. God bless them, though. It's a very successful business for decades. Peter Kiriako. Yep. Great guys. Wonderful yep. guys. And they're all married now. Children. Yeah, so. <laughs> I see them at soccer. Oh, do you really yeah. now? You do. Oh, gosh, start soccer on Wednesday. Yeah. That's so cute. I'll see them again. I yeah. <laughs> see them on Wednesday at soccer. DJ That's Trimble. Funny. What about DJ Trimble, like, announcing all those years on the radio? Yeah. You know, um, he was around. He was out there at the band show. Oh, yeah. He didn't miss a beat. Yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, my God. I totally forgot about that part. He's at the soccer fields now with, you know, <laughs> wife, kids. So. That's funny. That's yeah. cool. All you got. That's cool. I yeah. think that's really cool. Yeah. So, properties... In that area, I mean, obviously, they're valuable. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know we have 601 Main Street. Um, maybe you want to talk about that one. Yeah. So, again, as we were saying, you know, Daytona is definitely, you know, still has its partying going on, but it definitely has also tamed down a little bit. The city and the area has grown so much, not only residentially, but also commercially. Um, from really every aspect, from hospitality to just businesses in general, retail, 
um, it's really grown. And, and as you're saying, like, you know, a really cool opportunity um, on a phenomenal street that we just got done with Bike Week, you know, what, just a couple weeks ago. Correct. And how, what was that? Was like the largest bike? What were they expect? It was 500,000 almost... people. So five, so let's just say the, the probably foot, more. I mean, I heard it was the, the news was mentioning they're anticipating over 600,000. So, so just to show a little bit of foot traffic in front of the building we're talking about, beautiful two story building. To be honest with you, I'm a little, I have a little bit of, um, what's the word I guess I'm looking for? Nostalgia, uh, yeah, definitely nostalgia. But I've truthfully, I've always been a fan of this building. Um, cause in the early days of going back to the music and the band stuff, we would do events at bike week and we would play at this particular location when a different owner had owned it at the time. And this place, you could not move, right? Beautiful building, two stories, has an elevator, balconies all the way around it. There is a full blown operational restaurant on the bottom floor which I always thought was just genius because not only that, you got your beach people that are coming here, plus as your seasonal things, plus your standard locals that would come in on the regular basis. You don't even have to touch upstairs. Currently, there's a tenant in place, I believe. Correct. From what the owners were saying. They have a triple net lease in place. I don't know we're going to give out. I don't want to say what the property is bringing in really. You can. You can. You think that'll be okay? All right, so. So currently they're saying, um, according to the numbers, triple net lease, it's an 8% cap rate on this, and it looks like it's bringing in a little over 60000 a year net. Yep. That's not too bad. And I mean, I... Iconic. It is. Iconic I- location. It really is. I mean, you have the convention center right behind it. You are literally steps from the ocean. You... Like I said, going back to the foot traffic alone and just, you know, the building just sits in a phenomenal location. And um, like I said, the building really has a lot of potential. It always has and it does. And there's so many things that can be done inside of that building. Really, like you said, upstairs, down. You can have an event going on upstairs while an event's going on downstairs or just run in on a beautiful Saturday night if you have a themed evening or, hey, like we're saying, a flashback 80s or a flashback 90s. I mean, those things are coming back. I mean, that I place, like that. Is, you know, you can't beat it. So, yes, anyone listening um, that may want some information on that particular deal, <clears throat> um, as always, there's a link down on the – if you're listening on Spotify and – um, on Apple and on some of the other platforms that we're on, the link may not be there. But if you look up the deal room on YouTube, on the bottom of the description, you'll see a link and um, you'll be able to click on that and fill out a form and we'll be able to get this particular opportunity over to you to review and, and look into it. But yeah, great building. Like I said, two stories, full service kitchen, elevator, Big bar upstairs as well, as well as downstairs. Stage set up, beautiful balcony that surrounds the upstairs. You know, you can look out. Again, just one of my favorite places that I've always really enjoyed going to and playing because it was it's always fun. Yes, yes. We can definitely yeah, show that property. We can definitely show that. Yeah, anyone that, yeah, please contact myself or Dino. Showing us, we'll get you guys over there. We'll love to do a tour. We love enjoy going over there. If it's, and then if you want to purchase it, um, and need a multifamily nearby, mm-hmm. very very close to the beach, and we'll put those, uh, we'll share those photos with you. There's a four unit, and that is fully rented. Of course, the rents are low, hence your opportunity and uh they should be around 1100 1200 per unit per month yes so that's nearby which is good so some of the employees that are looking for places to live they want to put something up which is yeah very nice and accommodating and makes life easy (laughs) and we bumped into somebody recently who does that right he just takes the money out of their 
pay, basically. Correct. So you don't have to worry about that part. Yeah. Type a portion of your paycheck, send right there to your landlord, takes it right out. Yeah. And then it's covered. No management issues. No. Yeah. I think that's really convenient and nice. I think it's a really nice setup. Yeah. For that kind of situation. And your steps from the ocean. And the four unit of steps from the ocean as well, I yeah. believe. Convention center, you know, boardwalk, fireworks on Saturday nights during the summer. That's starting up again soon, yeah. Yeah. So near all the hotels. It's a good property. Yeah, that's a nice. The aerials are just gorgeous. They you are. really have a beautiful town. Yeah. Gorgeous town. It is. I'm happy to see everything that is going on in Daytona Beach. It's nice to see. I mean, we've been here, you know, we've lived here for a good couple of decades now, so we've been able yeah. to see it in the various stages. And this is an exciting stage I think we're we're in right now. Yeah. And it's kind of unpredictable in a lot of ways, too, because it's like, who's doing that? Who's doing this? Well, when did that go up? When right. did that... And this person's going to do this over here on this court, and that street's getting that now, and... It's really cool. And then also, like, we tend to pitch certain things. Yeah. And people are like, oh, yeah, we're different. We're interested in that. Yeah. Oh, it's this many millions. What? <laughs> You're interested still? We just told you the price. <laughs> Did you not hear us? <laughs> no, we're really interested. We're going to look into this. Yeah, especially if you're looking for, like, a nice long-term investment. I mean... It's almost like in some ways, and I've heard this recently, and it's something that my grandfather actually used to say. And I was on the phone with one of our clients, and he, and a member of his family was like, Daytona Beach is a sleeping giant. And if you think about it, you know, it really is because it, it had all that traction. I mean, look, we just had Speed Weeks, Daytona 500. I mean, if you think of what the town has started to accumulate and do over the decades in time, it's really cool. I mean, granted, traffic now is, I mean, a lot of people are living and moving here. Yeah. So traffic for us maybe isn't so much fun. We're like, for me to get to your house maybe used to be eight, 10 minutes. Now it might take me about 15, 18 minutes to get to your house. Right. You know, or the office does the same thing. Yes. You know, um, but that's week weekends. Yeah. Like, but you know, you're going to have your slow days too, like Mondays and Tuesdays and Except during those rush hour, especially where I live. Oh, and by the way, what about the bar times? I saw going that. from three o'clock to two o'clock. I did just see that, which is it. I wonder why they're so. You can see that the city is in momentum of taking back our, you know, taking back our reputation of, you know, this is. A friendly, nice family beach town. Yeah. I've kind of seen both sides of that two o'clock hour. Of course. But I have to agree. Like, it, I do f definitely want the bar owners to make money. money. And it's more about the bartender. It's the bar owner owners worried about the employees, the bartenders, because that's when they make their majority of the money is that last hour. That last, yeah, when they're in there, that last hit, that push. But I got news for you. I mean, at 2 a.m., if you haven't had a cocktail by then, I mean, I've seen, but then, you know. Well, I don't want to get controversial here. Right. But my solution would have probably been let's not serve the jungle juice. Let's not serve the lower end alcohol. See, that's a good idea. Let's keep it top shelf. Keep your prices the same, and they'll drink better alcohol and maybe a little less, but it's that jungle juice, that that $4 bottle of vodka mm -hmm. that some of these guys buy, and they're just poor. I mean, Or the Jaeger or the these, Fireball. And, and sometimes and the, these guys are kids. They're not used oh, to drinking oh. like that. They're not from Daytona. Yeah. They're not from, you know, South Beach. Good points. They're from really? Ohio and they're from Nebraska and Iowa. Yeah, they're having a good You know, time, so but... we got to take care of them too. I think that would have been a nice trade-off, honestly. But 
What do I know? I'm not. No, it's a very a good owner. point. Or even if you said, if maybe after that, beer and wine only after that time, where it kind of starts to slow you down a little bit. It doesn't get, you know, for a DUI or any ridiculousness. It, it's the <laughs> fights. It's it was the fights. I was going to say that the fights. The there's no need for that. Yeah. And weapons. That's what I mean. But as you said, going back, Daytona is really changing. yeah, which. As I'm getting older, I have to say, I'm like, ah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I told some nightclub owners back in the day when I started in real estate, I was like, my goal is to sell your nightclub before my kid can come and enter <laughs> this place. I love it. I love and it. And they're like, that's not going to happen, Dino. <laughs> <That's not gonna> happen. <laughs> I like that, though. Smart. Really smart, man. Yeah. I can't have my kids in there. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. That's so. funny. But the times that we've, I mean, it's it's hard. We've had a lot of fun in these places, yeah, though, I, too. I mean, think of the years. and Well, like, because you did 601, I think, like, you, they had a sister bar, right? On Seabreeze. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In the spring break area. Yep, Frank's front row. Shout out to Frank. Frank, and Frank. Uh, you were like resident. Uh, what Tuesday, Wednesday nights there? Was it Tuesdays or Wednesdays? Thursdays? Thursdays. Was it Thursdays? Thursdays. I forget. Thursdays. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was nine o'clock. Thursday. 930. And yeah, Kim Biaggi was always bartending oh, there. Oh yeah, Kim and Cindy before she. Uh, oh yeah, Cindy, Cindy Bailey. Bailey. Yeah, Cindy before. Yeah. Yep. She was in school, I think, doing law, I think, at the time. Or, yeah, I think I did like 20 gigs or something like that. Oh, easily. There were so many. But then Joe. Joe. Oh, I love Joe. Yeah. Joe, and Mike. And Jackson. Jackson. Oh, the. Yeah, they used to. <laughs> I would forget that you were pl like playing those nights, but sometimes I'd walk in. It wasn't my kind of place back then. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love Frank, but so then I started. You know, and then I realized that you guys and Kim were there and um then I but it was cool to be like, Oh, oh they're playing tonight. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, I know my boys. they're here. Yeah, they're hug, here. Hug, oh. hug. Glenn, Drinks, you, shots, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Glenn, you have, of me. <laughs> Glenn, you have dreads? Glenn <laughs> When'd you <laughs> when'd you Jamaican get me crazy? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. With yeah. many memories. In Glenn is Sean's brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for a moment there, he did. He went. He went with the dreadlocks. <laughs> he did. And then Ocean Deck for years. Ocean the Deck, world famous it, Ocean Deck. Okay, so I'm wrong. Ocean Deck's been there probably just as long or longer than even Razzles. Yes, I do think you're correct on that. That may be the. The staple, actually, yeah. down there in a lot of ways, like you're saying. I mean, I liked it before they put that second floor on, though. It had a different charm. I didn't know charm. of it without the second floor. Just it had a it. different charm when it was just on the bottom. Like a shack right on, on the, the beach. Ocean Deck is direct though. ocean on the sand, basically. Like, you walk out of it, and you're on the sand. So people would go drive onto the beach over there back in the day, and then park go get a pina colada or pina coladas we used to anyways right i, I love and them. you could take the kids during the day and uh yeah you could drink eat wings oysters yeah <laughs> wow 19 i want to see that we got, can we is there a photo yeah it's actually on their website oh we got a the history, the history wow. of the ocean day Standing 1950. And you guys played there for dogs. how many years? Tuesday, every Tuesday night for what? Twenty years? Twenty five? It was maybe? off and on because it yeah, because you guys went billboard, yeah, but no, <laughs> but um, it was just <laughs> off and on because, but yeah, a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot, wow. and that was one of those. I think one thirty two a.m. I think it was ten to two was the time that we'd be there. So like we would see that two o'clock after on scene. That's why going back to couple minutes ago what we were discussing with the you know i'm happy to see everything that's happened in daytona yeah but right there even ocean deck boom second floor boom now it's more of a restaurant oh yeah you know so even they <clears throat> evolved correct great food 
I love the place. We go there. We take clients there too, actually, when they're like, we're down on because yeah. everyone, you got to take them to the ocean salad. deck. Yeah. It's like, Mahima. oh, you're not from town. Where's we going to eat? We're on beach side. Let's go have lunch at the ocean deck. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Their rasta chicken sandwich. Yeah. I love th- they have really good French fries too. Uh, get to, you know, I feel we horrible. We always get hungry in here. I know we do, but I feel horrible. We'll go like if me and Dito will go. Dito will be like salad, shrimps, some chicken salad. You know, and I'm like rasta chicken, French fries, Coke, you know, everything <laughs> that you should not be drinking. You know, or needing. You know what I mean? And I feel bad. The food comes in. I'm like, man, a salad looks good, Dito. <laughs> you know like, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, we got a good town. We got a good town. There's a lot of. Good places, good people, good pe- um, a lot of great owners. You know what I would like to see be done though. It's a, I would like, and I'm I wonder. Maybe you might know. I'd like to see a makeover of the boardwalk. I'm sure it's going to happen. To be honest with you, I really am. Well, there's a little bit of you know some controversy but, there, but is there? I was going to say I don't know everything about that. I'm sure you. You know, sensitive some subject. sensitive subject stuff. Not with me, but, you know, the people I know. Right. The, so. Because, but I wonder, even if there was a makeover of the boardwalk. It's, I think it's it, coming. You do, but do you think that it will, well, I, can, I can't see it not doing good. Like, I don't know if, like, the generations, I guess, like, us, like, coming from different generations of, like, Jersey Shore type summers and families that would go to the boardwalks and they'd see this with the kids I wonder if it would still be the same effect and it would have the same success as boardwalks around the country have had now. Or what would a 2022 boardwalk look like? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wonder. There's always that toss up. Do you go commercialized? Do you go local? You know, that's why I love New Smyrna, actually, is because they keep it so local. Yeah. They won't even let a Taco Bell in. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I might be exaggerating. I don't really know. But no, I think you're correct about that. Yeah. But like, again, New Smyrna is what, 10 minutes away mm-hmm. and the greatest food. Flagler Avenue has, yeah, all, you just go down Flagler Avenue and it, and I know. I mean, it's even st- some things as simple as a Caesar, like the greatest Caesar ever. Yeah, and soup. Yeah. I know, especially a place at the soup, we would love to. Go there just for the soup. You oh, yeah? Know what I mean? yeah, it was actually yeah. the Flagler Tavern. Oh, okay. Yeah, their uh, chowder, the mix, the oh, swirl. Dang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another, <laughs> another place you guys used to play. Oh yeah, we would get there super early just so we can oh. eat, and then it was the soup, and then you know what I mean. We want to get there. Yes, we would be so. It would simple things would just make us <laughs> a little meal, a little soup. We're good. Yeah, and a couple of Jaeger moms. Yeah, like you said. But then we took the family recently to that Italian place. Remember? Yes, yes, that was, that was really good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, Lemoncello's, I believe it's called, yeah. right? Yeah. Lemoncello's. Yeah. Thank you again for that. Oh, yeah, that was a wonderful. So. The food was delicious. Oh yeah, it was so good. I just love getting the kids together for sure. It, it, seeing them all. I know. Well, you didn't have the second one yet. That's why we did it. Yeah. They're growing though, man. We're gonna get more once we can do that. And it's like, okay, kids, Uncle Dino and Sean, we're gonna, you know, Dad, we're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> and Aunt Hanara and uh, Bobby, we're gonna go, we're gonna play, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So we have New Smyrna next door. I mean, what a great town that is. And then Kelly, no, Kelly Slater's from Coco. Sorry, Coco. But they see quite a nice spring break over there too. I mean, they're they're going to be slammed. They've got a nice new boardwalk. I I haven't. Uh, sorry, not a boardwalk. A pier. I know what you're saying. Yes, I haven't I've seen it since it's been. I haven't, I haven't been over there. And honestly, I know it sounds sad, but in that I've been in New Smyrna, but I haven't been to that area in over two years. I actually said to Hinara, my wife, uh, "Let's go there the other day," but I think it was like too late or something. Was it? But. Yeah, it's nice to go I over heard there, there's though. a nice restaurant on the pier or whatever there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You actually tell me the new restaurant, to be honest with you. It's like, oh, like, oh, where's that? Oh, this place. Oh, it's great. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy New Smyrna. And it, it, it pops, though, for spring. I mean, it, they control it, though, too. And yeah. to be honest, thinking about Daytona, they, I believe, one thirty. I think they start to do it during those times. I think at one thirty. 
they actually start to tone everything down. They don't even give it to the two o'clock area and they do a sweep. Obviously it's much easier to do it in that location near Smyrna Beach on Flagler Avenue because it's one road with, you know, restaurants and venues on each side. We're opposed to Daytona Beach when there's nightclubs here, this club there, that one's over there, this one, you know, it's so much more. But they 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 do a nice, you know, when it's time to go home, yeah. they do it nice, simple, no no stress, no. And during the summer, it just seems like the, I mean, I have an eye for it because, I don't know, I, I buy the stuff myself. <laughs> But I see a lot of Louis Vuitton and Gucci and oh yeah, like the oh, girls yeah. are all prim yeah. and proper too. It's not like, uh, you know, yeah, they're just Ron Johning it up if this, you know what right, I mean? Yeah, right. and just you know the yeah. Well, I love Daytona Beach. Yeah, yeah, board. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So I kind of figured maybe a lot of Orlando, the Orlando crowd comes over for the weekend, maybe to New Smyrna. Me. I know they always have. I don't know if that's changed like in past years. I don't yeah, know if. I mean, I was astonished. I was like, wow, okay. Like, it's like Orlando Beach. This is a Beach. classy crowd. Yeah. Different. Yeah. And the restaurants are really nice too. Like, yeah, the, we went to one recently. I think it was my dad's birthday or something. Oh, which one? It was you, like a fusion one. Oh, okay. Next to Third Wave or something. Okay. But it was, it was pretty good. So I haven't been in. It's like Asian sushi, but fusion. Check yeah. that out. Yeah. Maybe we should go so there's a there. lot. Like, there's a lot to do. Uh, New Smyrna, Daytona. Then we have Port Orange, Ormond, mm -hmm. and a lot of the lawyers, doctors. They live in Port Orange mm -hmm. and Ormond. Mm -hmm. They don't really live in Daytona. Yeah. So. Well, I know more residential areas are popping up in Daytona, and I yeah. was actually. Looking at that. I mean, I live in that, in LPGA on the golf course. Yeah, that's so. Daytona. Actually, yeah, you're like that's right actually, on the line, Daytona. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. But that's a fairly newer community too. Right. You know, where some of the other communities, they're a little older in age, like the one that I live in and the sister one that's over there. And even in Port Orange, um, Spruce Creek Flying, that's an older community too. Yes. Where there was, there's, you know, where Ormond and Port Orange areas have more secluded areas that I appreciate yes. now being older. And schools. And the schools. That's what it's all about, right? And what about Riddle? Like, I was actually oh. driving around Embry-Riddle the other day, and it's like a whole different world. In the past two years, it seems like it's just They're taking over exponentially almost. Exponentially grown. Like, the Phenom architecture alone it's is gorgeous. incredible. Boeing was there. Boeing's there. Like you said, time. I didn't know that till you told me that. Yeah, again, incredible, incredible. It really is. It's nice to see those buildings going up, though. Too, like you said, they're just gorgeous, though. Like the architecture is like, what a cool design that is. I mean, it's a cool university. And then right well, behind you have all that private airport too. You have the, of course, the international airport, which everybody flies in and out of. But right there is also, you know. Yeah. Gulf streams and all that flying in. So sleeping giant. Sleeping giant. And then a lot of those businesses back in there too, if I'm not mistaken, they've been there for a long time, those companies. Like warehouse you know what I mean? Those distributors and everything that you don't even hear about and they've been there for like decades and they're still rocking like crazy. Yeah. And then right there, Amazon it's has coming. cleared all that land they're building. Huge building. Which is near you. <laughs> So then on the other side of that, Amazon is Bevel Row, which is actually I-4, and that's where you live. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think what I, memory serves me correct, 2.8 million square foot building, five stories high, minimum 1,000 wow. employees. Um, five stories Paying high. really, really well for jobs. You know, they're, and, uh, but I also heard, um, from neighbors on the street that there's also three more companies. They weren't sure which three companies were coming in and three more companies are coming in and they're putting in buildings right next to Amazon. I just don't know what the company, I, from what I understand, they're going to be like pretty decent sized buildings that are going up and, wow. you know, up in stories too, like not small little buildings. I was like, okay. Things are changing. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember as a kid, we used to go home, school, my parents' shop, and back home. Right. Like, we never, like, we didn't drive more than, if we drove 20 minutes, it was a day trip. Like, to right. Port Orange, like, because my dad wanted to go check out a car or something that somebody was selling in the paper. I know what you mean. And now, I totally look at know us. what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Look at us. Yeah, like our kids are never going to know the area that we grew up. You know what I mean? And be like, this never, now we sound like her. <laughs> this was never here. And that was never there. <laughs> this used to be an ice cream place. <laughs> that to, Don't you remember? Don't this you was remember? orange growth for mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's exciting. I, I enjoy it. I'm it's just the traffic is getting crazy to me. Yeah. Well, 900 people coming to Florida every day. It's down from a thousand. You believe that? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Only 900 a day. No, I welcome. I mean, it is nice to see the changes. And actually, you want to know something when I was not talking about Daytona, but I heard that I've you were mentioned I four is completely open. <clears throat> and I was talking to um, my father-in-law last night, uh -huh. and he said, because we used, I used to do a lot of traveling on I-4, and I guess the toll starts now. That they, they hit you with tolls starting at Altamont Springs, all the way to like through downtown, all the way to Conroy, where I believe the Mall Millennia is, like right there. And they just toll, 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 and I'm like, that's crazy. I was talking to Cur Dog, and he's like, "It starts where you don't need it, and then it ends where you need it." It makes sense. Well, I mean, they'll get there, but I know I understand what you're saying, though, because we know I know that he's you're so like, funny. "Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know why it was started out." Alt Altamont, I love that that town, that city. I, I really do. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense for me. Like, why would you toll everybody going through down? Like, at least, you know, once you get past that, at least you're by the parks and everything like the theme parks and it all and come. such, It'll but, come. but for like the locals, like just going, traveling to downtown or if, you know, if you're going from Sanford, let's just say, if you want to go, it's like, boom, toll, another, toll. Like why? I haven't experienced it yet. So I don't know that much about, it. I need to see what, and see what they're, and I heard the chart, the rates too. Like it depends on the time of day you're on there. And it also depends on how much traffic is on the road is what you're charged. Right. And if you don't have the right stuff, they're just going to, what was it? He said it was like uh pay by plate. Is that what it's? Yeah. Is that what it's called? You just right? run it. <laughs> yeah. And, and they, they just bill you. And they bill you. That's what I do. Yeah. I've gotten a company. Yeah. yeah. But not an I-4. <laughs> just interesting. You mentioned Sanford, actually, and I just saw the other day that Allegiant Air is going Sanford, Vegas. Really? Uh -oh. And I looked, it up, I looked it up, it was like 40 bucks each way, 50 bucks each way, of course, depending, right? Time. That's the other yeah. thing, yeah. So. <laughs> That's crazy. Want to go to Vegas? <laughs> For, are you, how can you not go for that? I mean, it's like crazy. You know I'm what Jones I mean? Jonesing for some Omnia, Club Omnia at Caesars. All right, I, greatest you know what, show I, ever. I haven't, I've never been to Vegas. Yeah, we, you're due. I know, it's one place I, well, I mean, more than just one place I haven't been, but I haven't been to Vegas. Which I'm surprised we never, I haven't been yeah. there, to be honest with you. But I heard Vegas is growing too. All of, I mean, company wise, that's another whole like untapped little job. I mean, yeah, it's a desert and it's, it is what it is, but that's a lot of open land, everybody. You know what I mean? That's the other yeah, thing. It's for sure. For sure. But I love Florida. I have to say, I do. We were discussing this last night and it's the weather, you know, Santa's, the sand, the sand, <laughs> you know, the income. There's so many. Just wonderful things that I think are, and it, it's so, the other thing about Florida that people may not know either is how diverse the state really is. And when I say diverse, I'm not, just the, like how North Florida is completely different from West Florida and West Florida. I mean, East Coast and West Coast, West Coast is like white sand beaches. And blue water, and like blue, teal, teal water, yeah. Gorgeous. <clears throat> you know, and like I know we were talking last night, like in my, they don't know that 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 area is like 
it looks like that over there. You know, they just think, oh, it's like, is it like Daytona or is it like Orlando? It's like, no, they're completely. And then like, look at Miami, how much the, this, the vibe and how some of the, the different kind of palm trees you get the further south you go and there's coconut trees Coconuts. down there. We don't have coconut trees here. And <laughs> yeah, my lychee won't grow yet here. Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> really? I didn't get that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like Siri didn't get that. On you. <laughs> That's funny. But I do love Florida. I do love our hometown. I do. But we do a lot of work all over Florida. I mean, it's not just, I mean, we've been talking about Daytona on this episode, focus, obviously the events, because again, people that don't know about Daytona Beach, we have a large amount of events yearly that come through. And I was talking to a client, I believe, this morning or on Saturday about that. They were asking of, um, you know, like they heard like, okay, so, you know, like what comes in there? What do you guys know? Do you know? I think it was us on the phone. We were on the phone because you told me, I'm trying, it was last week when you also told me that they moved the Pepsi 400 from July to August, we had to look that up. Yep. And we were just going through like the series of events that back to come back down. To and it, back. yeah. It's very, I mean, it's, it's nice because at least it's, I mean, I guess you could say it's never a dull moment, but it is nice to have that flow. It is. You know? And I'd, I'm excited to hear from, I think we're going to do a Meet the Parents episode, right? Oh, are we? <laughs> that mean, that That's what I heard. Okay. Okay. And so, I mean, what was your parents' perception when they came here? My parents' perception, I remember my dad used to shut down his business here on A1A or Main Street, both or whatever, from what, the days, like when school started and the season ended until January, which was the next race, the Rolex. Makes sense, though. Which was the Rolex, which also was not, it's not that great for t tourism. Right. So then you really are waiting for the 500, the Daytona 500, which is in February. So, yeah, definitely well, I'm excited to hear from them. Oh, it and makes their sense. perception and perspective. Well, we used to, yeah, well, I'm interested too. I mean, obviously, we know what times were. Well, we started coming, speaking of the 80s, we would come down here on vacation in the 80s. And my whole entire family just fell. My, so my, my grandfather bought a house. That's how it all started. And it was a vacation right. house for the family. And then who my, and on my mom's side is a pretty decent sized family. So, you know, either we, you know, it depends on the groups and who would come, but that's how it just started. You know what I mean? And then my, my parents fell in love with, they all did. They true at one time, I think every member you know, like my aunts and uncles, you know, that kind of thing. When I say my, like my aunts and my uncles, they all bought homes in the community. And some of them were like literally like next door to each other. Like literally like at one point there was four houses in a row. I swear to God. It wasn't planned that way. It just happened the way it all happened. Right. <clears throat> and then we just. And then you guys bought scooters. Then when we moved down here, that's when we got <laughs> then we got scooters. Yeah, then we got sc <laughs> and ran the streets of Pelican Bay. Yeah, there was. Yeah. It was Those uh, were my favorite days visiting you, coming was, over. That's just fun. But we got to wrap up. Let's uh, 601 Main Street. Yes. We went through that, and we went through. Four unit. Very four close unit. by Beachside. Yep. 20 South Grandview. Add value. There Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Tell us how ugly we are, how beautiful we are, <laughs> and we love you. Thank you, everybody. We do. We mean it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching The Deal Room.